slide backward. Forward. Hi guys, Danny here. Today we're looking at a smart RC robot. This thing was sent to me for review from Gearbest, so thank you Gearbest. I'm going to talk about this today and I'm going to be unboxing it for you. This retails at £17 from Gearbest, which is an incredibly low price, so I wasn't really expecting much from this, but it's actually not bad to stick around and I'll show you what this thing can do. First of all, you'll notice this is designed so it looks just like another much more expensive robot. The big difference obviously is this one is a lot cheaper so it doesn't have the same features. It doesn't actually walk, it has wheels underneath its feet which I'll show you shortly. But I was quite surprised by its size and it also feels quite sturdy in the hand, it doesn't feel too cheap. I think if this fell off of a high height it probably wouldn't fare too well since it's made of plastic. But it does have quite a nice finish to it and you can see it's got a little sensor in the front there. For the super low price you're paying for this thing, I can't really say anything negative about its design. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be, and it's quite colourful, so it does look pretty cool. So unless you have the robot in one of its automated modes, you use this controller here to control it. You'll see that it takes two AA batteries. The robot itself is recharged using a USB cable which comes with the product. This is what happens when you turn the robot on. Now we're going to take a look at using the controller to control the robot. Slide backward. Turn left. Turn left. Turn right. Slide backward. Slide forward. From what I can make out, the robot only has one sensor which is in the front of its body. This only stops it walking into an object that's at the same height of the camera. Otherwise, on this table that it's currently on, if you just hold forwards it will fall off. Or if it's in an automatic mode, it will also just drive off the table. So you can't leave it to its own devices if it's on a high area. It will only stop if there's an object directly in front of the camera that's on its torso. The wheels will only work on a smooth surface also, they won't work on long carpet or anything that is quite raised. So according to the manual the robot supports gestures, if you put your hand in front of it it will detect your hand and move backwards and apparently you can gesture it to come towards you which only worked about 10% of the time. Um, you can also wave your hand and it's supposed to turn but for some reason it would only turn the same way no matter which way I waved my hand so this didn't really work very well but 
it's kind of fun to play around with. I suppose if you're a kid, it would be a bit more fun, but it doesn't work very accurately. But yeah, it's kind of a, it's it's a fun feature, but it's it doesn't work very well. The robe also has a very basic programming feature. So once you hit the program button, it will remember up to 50 presses and then repeat these when you stop and then press that button again. Overall, I really don't think this is a bad product. Um, it is obviously extremely cheap, so I don't think you can expect too much. But for a young audience, this is probably going to be fun. For someone who wants maybe a slightly more advanced robot, you're probably going to get bored of this pretty quickly. But I really don't think it's a bad product, so I don't have any problems recommending it. For such a low price, it's quite fun to play with, and I definitely think it would be more enjoyable for a younger audience. So I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And of course, I will see you in the next one.